Hi, my name is Caitlin Moore. I'm a teacher naturalist here at Lichterman Nature Center. Today, we have a corn snake to show you. Now, a corn snake is a species of reptile. Reptiles have very special adaptations that make them a reptile. They have scaly skin, they lay their eggs on land, and they're cold-blooded. So the reason why he is called a corn snake is not because he likes to eat corn, a lot of people think that, it's because he likes to hang out in the corn fields. And farmers love these snakes, and the reason why they love these snakes so much is because that these snakes eat mice. Now I know what you may be thinking, mice are kind of cute, they are, but in a large amount, their populations can dwindle down a lot of our crops. Snakes will eat 90% of the rodent population before they become full adults. If it wasn't for snakes, a loaf of bread or a box of cereal would be $9. And mice are vectors for a lot of different diseases, such as Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. As you can see, he's sticking his tongue out, and it's not because he's being rude, he has a forked tongue, which means it's split in two, to be able to smell the surrounding areas. And he does this by having a special gland called a Jacobson's organ. So the forked tongue allows him to smell to the left and to the right. So if there's a mouse to the left, he'll slither onto the left trying to find that mouse. If there's a mouse to the right, he'll slither onto the right. Snakes don't hear like you and I can. In fact, they can't really hear at all. What they can hear though and feel is vibrations. So if someone were to scream, they'd be able to feel that vibration of screaming. This is a native snake. So these are the types of snakes that you'll be able to find in Tennessee, and he is a non-venomous snake. A lot of people will ask if there is a poisonous snake. Well, there's actually no such thing as a poisonous snake. Poison is something you ingest or rub up against. Venom is something that has to be injected into you. In Tennessee, if a snake has a thumb-shaped head, you know you can give them a thumbs up that they're a non-venomous snake. If they have a different shaped head, like a triangle-shaped head, and if their eyes have a slit in them, you know that snake is a venomous snake and belongs to a family called pit vipers. This snake here is a constrictor, which means he constricts his prey to death before he eats it. And it looks like he kind of has a small head, but he can eat something much larger than him. How he does this is he has an unhinged jaw, so he has the capability of opening his mouth really, really wide and then using his backwards teeth to swallow his prey whole. He doesn't chew, he just completely swallows. They do shed their skin about every three to four months to help them heal if they scratch themselves on something and to allow for further growth. Young's juvenile snakes will shed about once a month because they grow a lot faster. This is a long-lived snake species. These species can live about 10 to 20 years. This corn snake here is about 15 years old, and this is about as long as he's gonna get. He is about five feet long. Here in Tennessee, we have something called a glass lizard, which has no legs and can appear like a snake but you can tell the difference easily between a snake and a lizard. Snakes have no eyelids, and they also have no internal ear holes, while lizards have eyelids and internal ear holes. The corn snake, like most snakes, is more afraid of you than you are of it. And if you do see one, like all wildlife, you want to leave them alone and admire them from afar. Now, some of the best ways we can help snake species is to recycle, reuse, renew, and also dispose of chemicals properly. If you don't dispose of your chemicals properly, they can seep into the ground, causing the snake to possibly get sick. If you're a person who's really afraid of snakes and don't want them in your yard, one of the best ways to get rid of them is actually to make a lot of noise. They'll feel that vibration, get scared and run away, but be careful. They may scare other wildlife that you may want to see in your yard, like different types of birds and squirrels and other wildlife species. This snake is an animal ambassador here at Lichterman Nature Center because he is used for educational purposes. I really hope you enjoyed meeting this corn snake. I hope you join us again for another episode of Animal Ambassadors at Lichterman Nature Center.